So, morning everyone. It is, uh, I think it's about quarter to eight. Um, I've had an MRI scan this morning and I thought I'd uh, take the dogs out before we all have breakfast. And we're going to go up the tips uh, just before it gets too hot because I think it's going to go warm today. So once they've been for a walk, we'll all have breakfast and then I'll sort the horses out. But I thought I'd take you guys along with me for a walk. I plan to take everyone because I don't think there'd be too many people about at this time of the morning. Because I don't normally take all of them on my own. Um, just because it is hard to get six dogs on a lead if I have to. Um, sure, it'll be fine. It looks like Disney's actually going to come because she doesn't always come. You're all eating grass. You weirdos. Yeah, so Nala and Dudley came with me to the hospital. They literally, they just come and sit in the car while I go in and come back. And they just like to come. Um, and the rest of them had a lion. Hey, beastie. Hello, beastly. You good beast. You good beast. Yeah, so I shall see you all soon. So Harper was just pointing. So Harper now, she still goes in like full on hunting mode. When she comes up here. <laughs> I think all the Dalmatians kind of spoil it for her because Judith is normally crashing along behind her. It's getting really warm already. We've still got like warnings for thunderstorms but it's so hot. It's only like eight o'clock. pushing way ahead of me. I'm like, I'm hot and unfit. <laughs> Jude, slow down. Good boy, Dad. Good girl, Judith. Good girl, Lil. So, yeah, we're in a bit of shade now, which is lovely. And we're gonna go the shady way first and across the top last. That's my plan anyway. And uh, yeah, dogs are loving it. And we're honored because Disney's with us. Because she didn't normally come. <sighs> she does, by the way, get the choice to come, I should add. She just sometimes chooses not to. So as wild as everybody says Dalmatians are high energy, nobody, nobody told Disney that. It does. Disney, good girl. You've got the crappest recall out of all of them. Good girl, Lils. You've got good recall, Lil. And you have now, Lil, yes. Quite sure what direction Harper's gone in. Harper! This is Harper! Harper! Good girl. She's just got to learn. Recall means recall. Not when she chooses. Nemesis. Oh, 
rather lazy this morning, no? <laughs> She's still a little bit in dreamland after a season. Um, yeah. Yeah, they can go a little bit, I call dreamy, during and a few days after their season. I can hardly see her. They find loads of scents and stuff in trees. And I have noticed like when I'm filming or when I watch my videos back, how a puff I sound. I think it's just because I'm trying to walk and talk because I'm not as unfit as I sound on some of the videos. This way guys, this way now. So, uh, like I said earlier, like I've done, if you watched videos before, usually if I'm leaving any dogs behind on like this type of walk, it'd be Lily and Disney. Partly because they're lazier and don't really need, well, not need, they don't really want as much exercise. But also partly because Disney hasn't been wanting to come. So then if I... I don't really like leaving a dog on their own, especially not mine, because they're always used to having company. So then you just kind of think, right, okay, then which dog do I leave behind? And sometimes I leave Dudley behind with Diz and take Lily, because like, in all fairness, Lily does really like to come. Um, she's just not a pain in the bum if she doesn't come. Um, like Harper, and Judith, and even Nala and Duds to that extent, they'll kind of try and occupy themselves and play a little bit too much in the house if they've not been for a good run. Thanks, Jude. Splash me as you come through. So, um, yeah, but it's nice to see Disney kind of back more to her normal self, wanting to come. She just went through a bit of a grumpy phase where we had puppies. She had a season and she just took a while to bounce back from me, you know. So um, there's a Dally Rally uh, this weekend. Um, I think I'm going to go, as long as it's still on, because... Oh, I don't know, there was issues with where they were planning on holding it. Um, I couldn't go to the last one because Nala was in season. So, um, yeah, it'd be nice to go. Um, and then I just got to decide which dogs I'm taking. I only take three to group things like that. Because uh, I, when I just took Nala and Duds to one, it was this absolute... A rude word of a dog and um, it took two of them just to like handle it and hold it and then every so often they'd get fed up of it and let it off lead and it would just go like pick fights almost with other dogs and it did pick a fight with Duds and Duds um, he did defend himself but that's all he did because like he was about the same size as Duds maybe a little bit lighter but about the same height um, so anyway, in situations like that, number one, boy, it's normally boys that do it, and if you take another boy, they tend to defend themselves a bit more. Boys are less likely to start on girls, as a general rule. So, um, yeah, and then also, if anything does start on one of mine, their pack will defend them so uh yeah you just gotta be careful who you take and who you don't all the girls have left us dead and you're doing something I'd, you wouldn't want on film so yeah it's getting really warm now i'm glad i've come out this time come on guys Yeah. Yeah.
stuff is a car. <laughs> you were nuts, little. <laughs> Good girl, Jude. Good girl, Hops. Good girl, Nella. <laughs> You're having a blast, isn't she? You're good girl, Lils. Let's just test Harper again. Harper. Harper. Good girl, Hops. It's better. You gotta listen, Mrs. Yeah. Good girl. Yeah, I said in a video, a few videos ago maybe, that her training had just slipped slightly. As you can see, it has. Our Nala's has got this thing when they pant. She like licks their tongue. I don't know, it's weird. It's very weird. But yeah, I said her training had slipped. And you can see it's taking more than one call of her name. And even then she considers her options. So, uh, yeah. Nice little uh, pit stop for them all. See how we're nearly, nearly back. Um, oh gosh, I'm getting tangled up in stingies. Oh, okay, Judith. As, Judith, as you had a nice walk. Come here, she says. Thanks for taking me, Mum. Oh God, now let them walk in front of me. You can see Judith's movement from behind quite well there. Jude! See if she'll trot towards me as so. well. Judith! Come on, Jude! Come on, Cal! Good girl! Good girl! So you can see, good girl! She's a straight mover and from behind. She's got a strong, clear foot placement. Um, her legs aren't too close together. Sometimes, like, they got a weak back end, their hocks almost wobble as they land and sort of bang into each other. That's what I've seen with some movers in the show world. So the fact that Judith's uh, good and a clear land, landing and everything. Quick, Jude, trot down. You can see side profile. She's a good mover. She's a good mover, Judith. <laughs> now it's got this big booty still. She's a nice mover. We like my Judith. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty much the end of the walk. Um, just thought it'd be nice to see what we're up to. And the fact that I was up early and I just thought I'm either going to end up going back to bed and not getting a lot done today or I can get off my ass and do a bit. And... Yeah, I'm going to go and get Beastie in now, and then we'll all have breakfast. So yeah, I shall see you all for the next one, so bye!